Okay, there is a new world record largest prime number ever just announced yesterday. And today I had a special delivery. This arrived in the post. In here we have the newly discovered Mersenne Prime. In here is two to the power of 74,207,281. Uh, Make sure I get that right. And uh, if you actually minus were- Minus one. Minus one trivial at that size. Uh, if you were actually to print this number out, it's 22 million, it's over 22 million digits. It's around 22,338,618 digits. And uh, no one would be foolish enough to uh, get that printed <laughs> and shipped to them the moment the number was announced other than us. So let's get in there. There it is, there it is. This is the new world record. Look at that, that is two to the power of 74 million, 207,281 minus one. These are the digits, volume two, volume two of three. So there's, there's volume three, and so there's another third. And finally here, I guess we should start at the beginning. This is, there you are, volume, volume one. Look at that, this is the new prime number. This is. We suspect we are, well, we're, we're definitely the first people to have ever printed it out. I suspect we're still the only people to have ever printed it out because that is over two million digits printed in tiny, tiny type. I went for a monospaced typeface to make it uh, easier to locate the digits within there. Oh, there's a mistake. Ah, there's not. Right, so, I mean, people get very excited when a new prime number is found, but very rarely do you actually get to pick it up and hold it. So that's. Ah, oh, that is some serious, that is some weighty, that is some weighty math. Look at that, look at the size of that number. And this obviously, I'm environmentally friendly, I want to waste paper, so it's, it's front and back. Now, finding prime numbers is a common hobby for mathematicians and, you know, for millennia, thousands and thousands of years, mathematicians have been obsessed with finding prime numbers, numbers with no factors. And now, it's getting harder and harder to break the world record of the biggest prime number ever found. And so the previous world record was three years ago. And if anyone has been watching number five videos for that long, you remember we uh, covered it, Tony did a video on the previous world record, and that record stood for three years, and now we have another one. But they're getting so much harder to find, and so this one is almost five million digits longer than the previous one, and so it's gone from around 17 million up to around 22 million. You think, well, that's not a, you know, it's, it's a decent jump. Well, don't forget, every digit, the number is 10 times the size, and so that's another five million orders of magnitude bigger. I mean, that's just off the scale. So the record has now been taken by Professor Curtis Cooper. He's at the University of Central Missouri and uh, he was running loads of computers there. He found this prime. He won the world record off the previous holder, which was Professor Curtis Cooper of the University of Central Missouri. So he's won, is his fourth. He's, he's hogging them to be entire. I mean, I, I run the software too. I really want to find a world record. I'd be happy with anything in the top 100 biggest known primes, but no, he's hogging the top spot. And so he found two in a pair about a decade ago, and then someone else got the world record back. And then he regained the world record three years ago, and now he's just cemented his position. He, he, is, he is Captain Prime. So the way this works, if you want to try and find the biggest prime known to humankind, is you just you don't have to do anything, really. You download a bit of software and you run it on your computer. So as we speak, there's a computer in my office running a bit of software to try and find prime numbers. And some central server will send your computer a candidate number. Your computer will then check it to see if it's prime or not. And more often than not, for the vast majority, not prime. So you send it back and go, sorry guys, not prime. Very occasionally, you'll be sent a number, your computer will check it, you won't even know, you'll be out and about. And a number like this takes about a month. So your computer will sit there for a month on a number like this. At the very end, it's not gonna be prime. But very rarely, if it comes in prime, it gets sent back and officially you found it, it's your record. Uh, the policy is a, a number only counts as a world record prime once it's been seen by a human. Because obviously th this number has always existed. This number predates our universe. So it's not like we've invented it. We've just spotted it. And so 
your computer finding it is not enough. When it gets flagged up that it exists and a human goes, hey, check it out, that's when it officially counts as a new prime number. And uh, so, yeah, so you can win, you, well, there's a prize, but that's beside the point. You can win, you know, accolades and recognition as the finder. Oh, I'm so envious. Sounds like a lottery, winning it. And yet this one guy's won it four times. What's his secret? It does sound like a lottery, doesn't it? That they're just handing out numbers. Uh, Curtis's secret is he has a lot of computers. So he's running it on 800 desktop computers. So he had a chat with the people at the University of Central Missouri and he said, look, all your computers, you've got them running in the labs around the night. Like they're on 24 hours because apparently it's easier to push updates and things to the computers. And so they deliberately keep them on. He goes, we don't want to waste all that computing power and so they agreed to let him put the great internet Mersenne prime search or gimps for shorthand terrible uh, if you're going to look it up online don't, don't google type out all of great internet Mersenne prime search and uh, he put it on all the computers and so for the 800 computers at the university there whenever they're not being used they kick in and start doing this so some computer sat there for a month during the day, it was helping people learn. People were coming in, using it for assignments and university work. And at night, when everyone turned the lights out, it would fire back up again. It would reopen this number and go, right, where am I up to? Right, and then it would carry on and it would check if it was prime or not. And for one of them, it suddenly ding at the end of the result, it was prime and it got sent off to the server. Absolutely incredible. The 12th term in the Lucas Lima sequence, but we only have to find it mod 8191. So to start with, it's the same. You'd have four, you'd square that, you'd get 14, you'd square that, 